and welcome. These are horse racing selections for Sunday the 14th of May. I am Flat Cap Callum and I'm hoping you are all very, very well. All right. I'm not feeling very, very well after today's racing. Oh, it's not been a great week. Um, we, had, we had two days, Wednesday, Thursday, where we didn't put out much. We had a couple of places and four dots. And then the last two days... We, we've got nowhere near strike rate from a percentage point of view, but we've got some return back from one really decent price winner, but nothing to go with it. Um, so, yeah, it, I got it as 40 on uh, 14.52 back today. I'll go through the detail in a minute, but, yeah, painful this week. Lost, lost, lost every day. Well, no, we actually made a slight profit on Friday, but lost the other days. Um, and, yeah, it's just... Yeah, it's annoying. It's, it's annoying when you get two. There's two really good price winners we've had in two days, but just that's it. And yeah, strike rate's not not been on it. So uh, frustrating. As far as Sunday goes, I've got a full stake. I've got a full deck of bets for twenty pound. Um, so yeah, we, it's our it's our last chance to turn this week around because I'll go through the stats in a minute. But it's it's not been a pretty week from a stats point of view. Um, so it's a full twenty pound. The first race is 12.58 at Longchamp. So I've got a few bits in France. Um, bit of variety in, in the bets there. We've got a win Trixie from Longchamp, just all, all there. Um, and then I've got a lucky 15 around the houses. And then I've got a super Yankee slash Canadian for the Hamilton Sunday series. And I've got a little combination double for the Hamilton Sunday series too. So that is the plan. It's entirely up to you what you do with my plan. It's the channel plan. You can follow it or laugh at it, whatever you want to do. I don't mind. Um, I shall be putting it out and I shall be putting £20 of the channel money onto the plan. But yeah, I do really, really appreciate it. It's, uh, people are very, very nice. And uh, the, the profit loss is a far cry from where we were at last year. It's been a struggle this year. We have had one really good day this year so far. And we really could do with rustling up another one because the the profit loss was going back in a nice direction and it sort of started to lean back the other way again so uh overall i would like to be uh, like to be changing course on that one and it would be nice to finish the week well otherwise if we don't it's going to be a heavy loss week um which is never a good thing so um saturday in more detail as i said it was 40 on 14.52 back um if you weren't using a bookmaker that pays bonuses on winners then it would have been a bit less than that so it was a heavy loss all round really um and i just thought i thought it looked really really promising and um i think that the, of the four main races I'll, I'll go through that in a sec actually we'll just quick quickly go through them um <coughs> so um no one out of the placings it was only slight that one and it would have made a really nice difference because take it easy placed at 33s um, darkness was a no um but if yeah that, if we'd got them two placed then uh, that would have been an extra 17 quid back um so half a length cost us 17 quid there which would have been really really helpful to uh, to make the day look not as bad as it actually did but it wasn't to be um we had uh close but not close enough no good close but not close enough i think it was seventh paid out sixth and then no, and then obviously as 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 everybody could have told you, knockout blow goes and wins that race really really well, and it drifted to ten to one. I, I didn't want it for thirteen to two, and I stand by the decision. And you just got to work. You know these things happen. Um, if it stayed at ten, if it was ten to one when I did the bets, I'd have kept it. The point was the way I'd done the betting plan with what we had with it. It wouldn't have made much difference. It would have been a couple of quid. So I'm um, I'm not crying, even though. Some might say there was some spilt milk. I don't know. Um, so this was no good. We had take it easy place, but we didn't get anything on that first leg. Um, and then, yeah, the, the story of this bet, just not good enough on that first leg. It was it was a good race. There were some good prices to be had. My dad had the winner, to be fair. <laughs> but he doesn't run a YouTube channel. He didn't win overall, but he did have that winner. Um 135 um yeah 14 to 1 winner which is second best price of the day and just i wasn't on the prices on the right ones in that one so that that was not a great start that race i was really happy with far to shy went and won well uh backed in i think it was 18 no, 20 to 1 
Um, so 20 to 1 was the best price winner of the day. 14s in that one was the second best. Nothing else but 12, above 12s. Um, so considering the volume of racing, the size of the field, it really was quite poor from a value point of view in the end with the results that the bookies, the bookies won definitely. Sly Madden was one out. So I was happy with that, how that race went. That Victoria Cup was a right funny race. Because um, if you watch the 205, Far to Shy absolutely got a nice little runway up the middle of the track. And, that, and, and it, it may well have always won. But it definitely looked like it found a really nice streak of good ground. And in that race, I was really surprised when they separated out too wide and nobody came out the middle. And it wasn't until the end, the, the winner that won by an absolute street found the same bit of central ground that Far to Shy watched. If you watch the race back, I just can't believe there's no, no more jockeys went up there. So whether or not the one that won was the best horse or not, it found the best ground. And I, I think the problem with with that 240 is there was mixed ground. So... So dance lot was a big disappointment. It was last, but the others, I think it was it was a funny race. I wouldn't I wouldn't count on the form of that race reading much in the future. I think, um, yeah, it, 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 they were all over the chip shop. I mean, a low draw number at Ascot is is um, you know statistically in that kind of race they'll say you know you don't get many winners and that one that won was a was a rarity, but you're playing for places too. So um, yeah, they came from all over the place, but the middle was where you wanted to be. And then the 315, that was all right because that was placed at 33s and that was one out of the placing. So I kind of had two, two right. I think I got stuffed up by the draw there, really. Um, and that one I got wrong. That was my read of it. Um, others will have different views. Um, so then, yeah, this was what was really promising. We had far to shy, went in at 28s. So I think I saw 30s um, in the morning after I did the video. And then just no, nothing. Not even, none of them were close. They weren't close. So we had a winner on its own, um, and then, and in, and this one we had a winner and uh, a going on to three and no. So yeah, we had five different horses going on to that far far, far to shy one, and just couldn't hook it. It was just annoying. Um, and then this was was not great. One out of the placings, I think that was Frano. Love Day got way too far back. So. That one next time, if if that one run has been overlooked, it, it could be coming in a, a nice double figure price. I'd definitely be backing it next time. So it, it's, it ran well enough for a first time out haul. So watching for Love Day next time on double figure odds. Um, and then save a bet did not save anybody, did it? One out the placings, it was fourth, um, and you could have got fifties on three six five. So that would have been all right for for some. Langley 100 uh, backed in, but disappointment. And then we had a non-runner in Ultra Beat and Tiger Blay faded. So all in all, a bit of rubbish, I would say. Let's hope Sunday's better because we're walking into Sunday down 38 for the week. We've only had three weeks this year that have been worse than that. So that's two days stake. Um, and I've got twenty pound going on, so fifty eight pound is the uh, is the most we can lose this week. We've only had one day, one week this year that's been worse than that. So one week that we we were worse than three day state loss, um, which to be fair is actually pretty good. Um, so on average we're we're putting down a hundred. So to say that almost every week, considering the the, the prices I'm putting out, we, we've got back um, over well m most weeks over fifty at least. I know we haven't won a lot of those weeks, but, but the yeah the losses have kind of mounted up over a period of time. We've only had a couple of weeks that have been really really bad, and let's just try and avoid it. it I would I would love to just get a little bit of something going on on this uh, this one. We got two bets really possible. Last time we had Sunday series two weeks ago, I did manage to snag the two decent double price horses. Um, Hamilton, bit of a trickier one. That was Musselburgh, I think. Hamilton. I find that a little bit trickier, but we will see. So, Sunday's plan is this. Starting off with a win, Trixie and Longchamp. I've, I've basically decided, take decision to take SP prices because um, it's tricky in the French ones because some some bookies are priced at the market and some haven't. Most bookies have priced those two up, but they haven't the 12.58. Some have and some haven't, and Sky haven't. So I didn't want to make it confusing and have one SP and one not. So... Um, yeah, and, and it's also, I, I, as much as I can read betting markets and, and potential movements in UK and Ireland, I'm not as proficient in France. 
what I do see is those those three horses should be the should be the my view they're the best horses um, in those three races in terms of um, what they've done so far. So twelve fifty eight per dicker um, should be about four to one I think from my read of it, and if it is, that would be a really good price. Two fifty Isaac Shelby about five to two eleven to four I think it'll be. We don't really want that to go more than like seven to four be all right. Shorter than that would not be ideal. And then Jana Rose is a, is seven to four, um, and yeah, and anything above evens I think is okay for that. Fifty p win Trixie, it's a two pound bet, um, so we're not going to win great shakes there. Um, but if that if they all came in, that would be enough to cover our day. So we're starting off a long shot now. We've got a couple of earlies and one in the middle of the afternoon, and then we've got the round the houses lucky fifteen. We've got this all in the space of twenty minutes. These. 315 Plumpton, so one Plumpton horse, Joyful Kit 33s. I think that one's a nice price. That absolutely could spring up um, at a decent price, that horse. Um, very much overlooked. I think it will come in a little bit in the betting market, but it has got inconsistency about it, which is why it will still stay at a, a decent price. 325 Killarney, Man of Work 14s. I like that price. Um, I haven't, the, 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 there's the big um, Killarney National. I didn't really like like the read of it, and I didn't like the betting structure. So it had a decent field size. I think it was sixteen. I think sixteen runners in that, but there was about seven horses that were single figures. And I just there was nothing at a price. And I didn't didn't like it, so left that one. But I have got three twenty five. The only Irish horse, Man of Work fourteens. Then we've got another one in Longchamp. So the three thirty. It's the French one thousand guineas. Really like that price. I'd bet. I'd, I'd bet that maybe at tens. Um, Sauterne 20 to 1 and then the 335 Ludlow a short one in there Zucayan 8 to 1 20p each way Lucky 15 40p each way double on Joyful Kit and Sauterne so again we're stacking on the bigger price Sky Best and then 365 Coral or Ladbrook so a bog bookie um, Sky 4 everyone else is free 3 there most bookies are 4 on both of those two not Paddy watch out for that but 4 on both of those so very similar turns. The only benefit of Sky is the extra place in the Zucayan race. Um, that's 6 8 is your bet. That is a bet two. And then the most stake is going on this. I've got a Hamilton Super Yankee Canadian. If you want to do it as lucky 31, that's fine. I've made the stake up to um, £20 exactly. Um, so it's not it's certainly not a bad bet to do, to, to do a lucky 31 on those. Um, but I was wanted to fit stake and, and get it in there. And I was okay with how I've, I've kind of mapped it for the channel. So you make your own choices. So it's basically the last five races on Ham Hamilton that were all on ITV racing for the Sunday series. 4.45 Scotch Mistress going for that first time out. Tricky one. It ran it one uh, first time out last time, I think, last season. Um, it's got some decent form. And of, of the others... I think it's worth chancing first time out again. 5.15 is my biggie in there. Tilsit 33s. That ran in a completely inappropriate race last time. It's back to where it should be. So if it goes back to the form of last year, that price could look really silly because um, it should be a third of that price. But because it didn't run well last time, over seven furlongs, it's back up in distance. Um, that's the reason. But yeah, it, it, it should be much, much smaller. Uh, 5.45 Rock Melody 12s. 6.15 Dundori, which we backed last time. It's up £5 from its win last time, but I think there's still mileage in that mark. Um, so we're going 11 to 1 on that. And then the 6.45 Bell of Art Anaday, Annandale, 14 to 1. It's a 15 pence each way Super Yankee or Canadian. Different bookies call it different things. Some call it a Super Yankee, some call it Canadian. It's basically all combos, not singles. So it's doubles, trebles, four folds, and a five fold. So it's 10 doubles. 10 trebles, 5 four folds, and 1 five fold. That makes 26 bets. So 15p each way makes it a 780 bet. And then I've just got the single on Tilsit at 33. So I've got no single coverage on those other ones at those prices. But if you want to put them on for that, you can. It's not going to make, you know, it's not going to make the difference between winning or not, particularly on the channel in terms of a few quid. Um, so Sky Best, William Hill next best, because there's one of the... Basically, Sky, because they sponsor the thing, It's they're five on the first four and then four. Most bookies are four and three. So it, compared to most bookies, you're getting an extra place on every single race of Sky. So it is a really, really helpful place <laughs> to be betting from the Sunday series with Sky. 
Um, Hills are going five and one those races. Can't remember which one. I think it's one of those two. Hills are five. Everybody else is four. So then you want Paddy, uh, 365 or Coral. 880 is your bet. And then we're going to finish on a little combo double. Not necessarily the second leg you might have thought. So first leg, Tilsit, 33s and Raven Glass 11s in the 515. And then yeah, I've gone for the one that's no extra play. It's four with Sky, but no extra play from now. Smaller field, but Bellevue, Annandale and Knight of Honor 10s. Um, so four times 30p each way doubles. It's a 240 bet. Sky best, then Paddy 365 or Coral. That is those. Um, all right, so that is our last chance saloon to avert a shocker of a week. Let's see what we could do. Um, what else do I need to tell you? So I'll be back usual gig. I'll be back Tuesday night this week. Um, so no selections from me from a video on Monday or Tuesday. It's busy though, it's time of year. Um, so I think six meetings Monday, seven meetings Tuesday. There's a lot of racing. Um, just, yeah, just try, try, trying to find the right ones. But I think it's the ground. It's still the ground. Um, I can't wait till we get a solid bit of weather. So we started last week and the week before. It was like, how much rain have we got? Is it softening up? Now it's about how much is the ground drying up? Um, it's, yeah, I don't like it. It's, it's, it makes the job of finding them harder. That being said, we've managed to pull out a couple of big prices. We just, uh, just haven't got out with them. So uh, let's, let's, Let's try and get two winners in one bet again. We did that two Sundays ago for Sunday series. That would be nice. Um, we'll see. So that's that. Uh, so back Tuesday night. I might put something in the comments if I find anything uh, of this video for Monday and Tuesday's racing, but I won't be doing any videos. Um, and then next week it's York. Um, I think it's it's um, must be the Dante, I think. Uh, it feels like that's the right time of year. Um so there's yes the York meeting and uh, as well well uh, advertised the channel York's not always my friend <laughs> so it's <laughs> so brilliant how do you want to bounce back from what what's been not great so far you want to go to York n n nice racing good spectacle but I, I haven't had a good channel record with York so we'll <laughs> we'll see how that goes um, I think that's it from me all right thank you very much uh, I appreciate all the support for, the, for you lovely lovely kind people out there. Um, it is great when people express their opinion, whether they like the video, dislike the video, so I know where I'm at. There are a bunch of people that never really express an interest, so it's hard to know. Um, but I really appreciate all the people that write comments and things and have chosen to subscribe to the channel. I don't ask for those things um, because I'm, I'm, I'm not... I've said it, you know, I haven't said it for a while, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I haven't got an ultimate goal here in terms of like trying to have the most views or most watches and stuff. I'm, I'm very humbled by everybody who takes time to watch and comment and interact with the channel. Um, particularly when, when, you know, it's not gone well in this year so far, but people can see what the long term stats look like and what we, what we're trying to do here long term. Um, so yeah, I very much appreciate that. Um, and yeah. You know, it's a free world. You can like, you can dislike, you can write me a comment as long as they're not rude and abusive. Um, then because uh, you know that ain't kind, and you get the heave ho. But uh, yeah, if people want to kind of ask questions, challenge, it's fine. People can do that, um, and I'll do my best. Um, there's there's plenty of other channels out there that you can't comment on. I wonder why, and uh, and others who uh, any time a, a sense of negativity uh, seeps in, they make it disappear. So uh, all of the comments are flooded with positivity. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm not about that. In, in, unless you're being a bit of a, you know, a so and so, um, they they pop up every now and again. But yeah, that is me. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. If it's sunny with you, it's, I think I think we've got a bit of sunshine tomorrow for a, a lot of UK and Ireland. Um, we'll we'll see then. All right, Tuesday night. I'll see you then. 